Mother, she don't like sympathy And mother, she wants you while you bleed When it comes to me, she's never been good When it comes to me, that's understood Yeah Hey guys, Mark from Oregon Bushcraft here. <laughs> Getting my food together for the Cascade Hangers Yeti Hang, uh, which is a, a group from hammockforums.net. In a couple weekends here, I'll be up at uh, Frog Lake on uh, Mount Hood doing some hammock hanging. And getting my uh, food together is always a priority and uh, I always tend to overdo it. So what you see before you here is essentially everything I'll be taking. Um, I'm going to be pulling a sled, a pulk, in with me. So I haven't weighed everything yet. I will put the weight to the bottom, but again, because I'm pulling a sled, weight isn't an issue. Uh, so I'll just go over what I have. First is a quart of gorp. Uh, this is just something I made, almonds, peanuts, dried cranberries, uh, chocolate chips, and some uh, fake M&Ms. I won't leave it in this, I'll actually divvy this out into a, into three Ziploc bags. I bring some Jack Link's jerky, some Tillamook uh, jerky, and uh, some Oberto pepperoni sticks. Uh, I have a couple uh, king size Snickers. I might not even eat these, but they're, they're coming with me. I have a, uh, a package of the uh, club crackers with cheddar cheese. I like these. I don't really eat chips that much when I go out just because they get crushed. So it's crackers uh, pretty much for me. So I got some peanuts here, uh, honey roasted, barbecue corn nuts, ranch corn nuts. Uh, this is all, all snack stuff. Um, I, I don't know if, uh, if I'll be eating this while I'm there, but I'm taking it with me anyways. Uh, for Saturday morning, I've got two uh, maple and brown sugar oatmeal packets. For Sunday morning, uh, I'm gonna try the scrambled eggs with bacon from Mountain House. Saturday dinner, I'm going with the uh, chili mac and beef. And for Friday dinner, I'm gonna do this uh, chicken fajita filling. Uh, so I'm bringing a package of 10 or eight uh, tortillas with me <clears throat> and then uh, for Saturday lunch, I'm actually going to have this breakfast skillet, um, which they say for filling your own tortillas. So I figured that was kind of a, a cool way to separate the tortillas out uh, between a couple days. Uh, this is just essentially what I'm taking with me uh, when, I'm, when I'm going. I just think, you know, okay, how many breakfasts do I need? How many lunches do I need? How many dinners do I need? You know, how many snacks do I need? What do I have that I can just kind of snack on all day long, you know, throw a thing of corn nuts in the pocket and then just, you know, crunch on a couple every now and then. I try not to take a lot of sugar. Uh, the Snickers are uh, usually more sugar than I would ever take. The, the Gorp, uh, the Gorp is pretty sugary, but I tend to pick through it. Uh, I'll eat the almonds first and then the peanuts and then the dried cranberries and then the raisins and then you know, when I'm down to chocolate chips and the uh, M&Ms, uh, I'll snack on those. Or I'll open up another bag and start going through the nuts and the dried fruits. I do have <coughs> uh, a tub of Cliff Bars. Pretty much every time we go shopping, uh, I buy a couple of these. Um, I've got some of the holiday uh, flavored ones. Iced gingerbread. And then uh, spiced pumpkin pie. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this because, you know, do you think it's overkill? Do you think it's a good amount of food? I'm going to be up there uh, from Friday afternoon until Sunday afternoon. Um, I probably will uh, add a couple more packets of oatmeal uh, if I can't force myself to eat uh, the Mountain House breakfast. Everything fits in here. This thing has a pretty good size uh, capacity. Uh, also, I'll be going over beverages in a separate video. Um, I, I take a lot of options for, for beverages and stuff, so uh, we'll go over that here shortly. So I'm going to stuff all this stuff in here, 
and uh, yeah. But, wow, isn't it amazing how the bag just disappears? Ooh, camouflage. All right, so I can't find my scale. I, I don't know where it is, so I will annotate below in the description what the uh, what the total weight is um, and then I'll do another video in probably two weeks when I get back from the trip to Mount Hood and uh, we'll see what I used what I didn't use um, I'll probably end up doing video reviews of all the products while I'm out there alright this is Mark from Oregon Bushcraft we'll see you next time